So um, I'd like to just throw open the floor. Um, these were great, you know, some great presentations. Uh, I think if you have a question in general, we can ask our uh, uh, panelists to uh, see who wants to comment. If you have uh, specific questions, and I see uh, we'll have Bobby run up, uh, give you the microphone. Hi, um, I really enjoyed all your talks. Um, one of the recurring themes that I heard you keep talking about was how you're trying to reach out to younger people, the younger generations. And I was just wondering what types of things specifically um, you thought could do that. Um, I know as a young person myself, um, we're very connected like on the internet and social networking things. And I, last year I was trying to find some information about Kagoshima Genjin Kai. And I couldn't find anything like on the internet, so, and I found like an email address that didn't work, and um, yeah, I was just wondering uh, if you had any uh, specific um, like plans of action on how to do this. Well, the Kagoshima Kenjin Kai has several events during the year, but the Heritage Club has a spring and fall event, as you had seen in the slides, and we have um, different lectures and different workshops. We were in the process of trying to set up a website, and um, I guess our webmaster, uh, I'm not sure if he's working on it or not at this time, but we have our quarterly newsletters that do get mailed out to um, the membership, either in hard copy via uh, snail mail, or if we have your email address, then he does a, a email blast with the, the newsletter. So if you're interested, um, our newsletter editor and uh, person in charge is here, Tim Asaman. Um, he's sitting right up here in the front row in the center. So you might want to speak with him and give your uh, email address, and he'll give you a, a membership application, and we can go ahead and start that process if that's what you would like. I mean, also, like, um, do you do any types of, like, student, um, like going to schools and outreaching or, um, no, like it seems like if you're not already connected, there's no real way to hook up with it. Um, in the past, we've had lectures and different events and we have them posted in the Rafa Shimpo. So if you do read the Rafa Shimpo, it, it is posted in the English section. Is, is that what you're talking about as far as outreach? Well, if I can add to that, um, Yamaguchi Kenjinkai has just started to do a lot more in, as far as re um, outreach. And last year was the first year we um, put up a booth at the Cherry Blossom Festival, which was here in Little Tokyo the first weekend in April. We will also be there again, um, is it next week, I guess? Uh, April 4th and 5th, right uh, in front of the museum, in fact, right around here and in the parking lot area. And we will have a cultural booth there. And we're trying to get other organizations to join us. But if you'd like, you know, that would be, we'll have the maps and the booklets. And Richard will be there with his um, computer, you know, with things that we've been doing up till now. And we are starting right now. It's in the infant stages, but we are starting a website for Yamaguchi Kenjin Kai also. So little by little, we are trying to do that. And then we'll, we're talking now about possibly having something at Nisei Week. And, and then in May, before Nisei Week, I guess we're going to have some outreach um, at the Children's Day. Um, they have a festivity out here also in uh, Little Tokyo. You so know, if I'm picking up on your question, though, you're, you're maybe asking, is there any effort to, to say, go to the UCLA campus, hook up uh -huh. with the Nikkei Student Union, for example, and, and do maybe a little bit more direct outreach to uh, youth and students and so forth? Huh? Yeah. That, that might be something that's... Uh, a possibility because I know that uh, at least the UCLA, the Nikkei Student Union is pretty active and I think pretty interested in yeah. roots and, and contemporary things too. So Sometimes I it's difficult um, for the, I, I believe like Yonsei Gosei because they don't know which Kenjinkai they came from. So <laughs> sometimes that, that creates a problem. They, they know that they're of Japanese ancestry but they don't know which Kenjinkai and um, maybe in the future, with the help of the Kenjinkai Kyogikai, who I, I believe there's 41 Kenjinkais that are members, um, maybe through them, 
you would be able to find out, you know, where your actual roots are. You know, that, that's really a realistic point because I just got done teaching a class that had to do with uh, camps at UCLA. And I do have students, you know, when I ask them, what, y were your parents in camp? And they'll say, yeah. And I'll say, what camp? And there'll be a pause. And, and I do have to say, well, you better go home and ask because it's important, you know. And it's, I think it's true that could, sometimes the youth don't, don't really know. And, and that's a shame. Could, could I, could I oh, well, hang on. Before, we take everybody. So. <laughs> I mean, this this is a group that's going to grow. I I can tell. I, just, I really want to no. I mean, I really want to emphasize this. And and the Kenjin Kai Hiroshima Kenjin Kai knows that we really are making a push to not be about Hiroshima. I mean, we sort of, we are obviously, but we keep trying to emphasize we're not because. And by the way, those members that you saw, Audrey has roots in Okayama, and Sam is white. All right. <laughs> Uh, but Sam lived in Hiroshima, so you know that's how his connection. So, but and I think that's really interesting because isn't it true that Hiroshima Ken's really one of the largest yeah. of the prefectural origin points for Japanese Americans? So I think for your you know organization to take that attitude, really an all-embracing attitude, is is really pretty remarkable. Uh, although I, I should point out, we really don't know what we're doing. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't want you to come and go, okay, here we are. We're gonna, I'm gonna sit you down. We're gonna be like, well, we, we, what do you wanna do? Okay. Ken's well, gonna make you sit at the uh, end of the race line and figure out who. We also, uh, from the Heritage Club, accept any members. And so, uh, as you were saying, <laughs> um, Linda was originally in your pack, but now she's with us. <laughs> Yeah, Linda's sitting right up there, and she had uh, RSVP through the Kagoshima Heritage Club. Uh, we have uh, another question. Well, you know, I feel like I've come from another planet. I came in on a family affair, and I'm trying to figure out the, the impetus. It seems to me from what I could gather that you come from a particular... The, or the origins come from a particular section of Japan, a prefecture with this name, I, my, in my background, I'm familiar with benevolent associations and organizations that form for immigrants to survive in terms of burial sites and um, helping each other out financially and, and just social and so on. Am I right? And do you ac really accept everyone? Yes, we do. <laughs> we do. Well, yeah, um, we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we... Our, our mission statement, you know, is to inform people of, of course, Kagoshima because it's a Kagoshima Heritage Club, but Kagoshima is a prefecture in the southern tip of Kyushu, but um, we also, I mean, our lectures and um, workshops are open to anybody, so we do have people who have wanted to learn how to do bonsai, and as you saw in the photos, uh, we each had... Um, our individual bonsai trees that we learn to trim and whatnot. And same with um, any event that we have, food is involved, and so everybody you know, enjoys the potluck afterwards. Thank you. In your effort to recruit new members to your respective organizations, uh, to try to talk to somebody who has no particular identifications or tie to your own Kenjin Kai, or Ken in Japan, how do you explain to that person what would be the advantages of uh, joining your Kenjin Kai or your own organization? What can you explain the advantages of uh, becoming one of your members? I could tell them there's a building. 